Hey, she wear. All right, today I'm going to show you another fun modification of a regular plank. Okay, um, it's basically like a, people call it different things. You could call it a walking plank, you could call it a suicide plank. Totally up to you. Totally up to you. Um, but this really helps isolate, you know, each side of your arm separately, which is a, which is fun. Um, and it does take a ton of strength. Anything in plank, we've talked about this before, works pretty much every muscle in your body. Um, and there's also balance in this one too. Okay, so it's basically where you start in a regular plank and let me just show you. It's, it's easier to show you. Okay, so come down into a plank. You're going to want to have good form in your plank. So straight line from your head all the way down to your feet or if you're a beginner, down to your knees. Okay, so whatever you feel comfortable with and then you can advance later. So this is a good plank position. Your hands are beneath your shoulders. They're about shoulder width apart, right? Um, and your back is straight. You don't want your butt down. You don't want it up. You want to think about tightening your core to hold you in that position. Um, but a walking plank or suicide plank is when you go down on one elbow, then go down on the other, and then press up, and then press up, and then you switch sides. So down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. And you want to make sure your butt isn't going up. You really want to keep that straight line to keep your hips tucked but not down either, because that's, what, that's what's gonna work every part of your, the back of your body, front of your body, and not put too much tension on your back. The more modified version is if you do it from your knees, right? So you go down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Ooh, okay. Ooh. That's a good one. Plank works everything, but you're really, really honing in on that entire upper body doing the suicide planks or walking planks. So enjoy. <laughs>